What's up, guys? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's my husband who uh, doesn't really care for the camera. His name's Jonathan. I've said that before. Um, so we are going outside because I want to make dinner. Um, yesterday I harvested some potatoes and I saw that I have two cabbages inside the bed with my tomatoes and peppers and they're about like this big like handful size. It's been like 100 degrees every day this week. Today it felt like 110. It was 100. Same thing for yesterday. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them uh, so that we can use them for dinner tonight because I'm going to make mashed potatoes, fried cabbage, and pot roast. Hey baby. Yeah. I'm recording you. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi. What are you doing? I'm trying to uh, even out this arch, but now that you've got the beds where you want them to be, I'm trying to put this arch back and even it out so it won't look as whopped as it did, but it's a uh, pretty bendy so we're going to just try to flex it out because it's it's, it's, it's uh it's bendable so. so we did adjust the uh beds and my husband uh cut off the last two uh edges like i wanted but probably the most exciting thing i need to show you look at my rose so this is the rose that's going to be on the arch it's so it's a climbing rose, thornless. It's called Belinda's Blush, and it already wants to bloom. But can't you just imagine that pink rose just on this arbor? So enough about my pretty roses. So we need to go harvest uh, the two cabbages I was telling you about. So this is one of the cabbages. It's in my bed um, with determinate tomatoes. And this is the other cabbage. It's bigger than the other one. And I'm going to use it to make dinner tonight. So this is the second cabbage. It's much bigger than the first one. I'm gonna take off the outer leaves. So we are in my kitchen. It was super windy outside, so I hope that uh, the audio wasn't uh, super windy. But I got the two cabbages put inside the bowl because I'm going to put water in it and some salt just in case if there's any bugs or anything like that. And then I also I already have the pot roast and the Instant Pot and Notary beeped. And I'm also going to get the potatoes uh, and clean those up as well. If you're new here and you don't know anything about my kitchen, we moved into this mobile home in mid-October and we tore down the top cabinets. That's why you see uh, different wallpaper because we want to redo our kitchen. Um, I want to have open shelving and so um, we began uh, painting our laundry room. Uh, but then I quickly realized that I wanted a garden this season and yes. that um, that was going to take priority and so we stopped doing our inside but uh, now that the garden's pretty much um, you know good to go uh, we'll start working on the inside again um, and yeah we already went to go look at granite countertops and I'm really excited about that um, someone had commented uh, that I look like I have black mold on my walls I do not that's just the sticky residue from the cabinet so uh, yeah if that bothers you then sorry So I have the potatoes that we harvested just sitting on this cardboard box inside of my glass room. Um, 
So I'm just going to take a few as much as I need uh, or think that we'll need to uh, make mashed potatoes tonight. And I love new potatoes. Uh, they taste delicious and creamy and I cannot wait because dinner's going to be delicious. So I just picked a bunch of the potatoes and I put a bunch of the small ones because I'm not going to be um, peeling them because since these are new potatoes, the peels uh, are pretty much falling apart. So I'm just going to wash them. Um, I'm also making sourdough hamburger buns because I had thought about having hamburgers tonight. We might just eat them as rolls or um, have hamburgers tomorrow. Maybe we might just eat them as rolls tonight. Y'all look at that. Look, and it's alive, it's moving. This is what I'm talking about. I need a soak. That's disgusting. That's so gross. Oh yeah, there's already some bugs in here. But anyway, so I'm pretty much just hand scrubbing these potatoes. And you can see the skins are coming off because they haven't um they haven't been sitting to harden up. Because I'm using them right now. You can basically rub off the skin. Okay, so I did get the potatoes uh, washed. And I did rough peel um, them. Just like, uh, I couldn't find my scrubber. And so some of the ones that I couldn't get the dirt off, I did just go ahead and do a quick peel. But they definitely still have lots of peels on them, which is fine. I just wanted them to be clean. I have uh, water boiling. So now I'm going to put them in the pot to boil and then work on the cabbage okay so i have my cabbages here and i'm just going to go ahead and chop them and then i'm going to get them soaking again And then this I'm going to put in my worm composting um, that we feed our worms. I'm going to put this in that bowl. what it looks in like in the inside and I'm just so happy that I grew that. Okay so I have the potatoes boiling. My cast iron is heating up. Once it heats up, I'm going to add a little oil and then add the cabbage in there. So I actually don't think I mentioned in this video, but I get all of our meat from Butcher Box. And so that pot roast that I had making for dinner was from Butcher Box. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link down below where you'll get $30 off your box. And uh, I think you get steak as well, a uh, free steak in your box. I really like them because I don't have to go shopping for organic or grass fed beef or chicken so it just gets delivered right to me especially living more fur out further out than I used to in the city so just get my meat delivered to me the past uh, few months that my butcher box have came it's always been a rush to like get them in because we haven't been here or something like that so I haven't recorded it but my next one that comes in I'll be sure to record it so that you can see um, what we get still waiting on this cabbage to cook down it's uh, actually reduced a lot. I've already added salt to it. So as you can see, it has like half and uh, the potatoes are still cooking. So I'm actually gonna put half a stick of this Kerrygold butter in here. And then I'm going to use my uh, almond milk because 
I don't feel like going to the other refrigerator and getting whole milk. And I'm gonna add garlic, maybe some rosemary because I picked rosemary. I picked rosemary from the garden earlier to use in the pot roast and I still have some pieces left so I might add some rosemary in there um, as well as garlic, salt, butter, all the yummies. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. We have the cabbage here. We have the mashed potatoes in here. We've already tasted them while well, my husband did and he approved. So this is what the pot roast is looking like. I can peel it so it's nice and ready and I'll fix my husband a plate first. So this was so much fun doing this uh, recording this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.